a little nervous, a little excited, about to enter the smokehouse at the Winnipeg Fire Academy. And uh, Mark Puryear, the public education officer here, we're, we're learning a little bit about the, the challenges facing you guys as we're into fire prevention week here. Um, Tell me a little bit about what's waiting for me on the other side of this door. Is the room is going to be filled with smoke. It's going to be as close as you can without the heat to emulate uh, what firefighters go through in a search and rescue. And that's what you're going to be doing. So in a quick how-to Coles Nose version, you're going to be going which way? I'm going in, going to the right. You're going to the right and strictly by feel. And you're going to be calling out, talking to your, your team, found a couch, going around the couch, all that till you find what you're looking for and you come back the same way you came in that way you know it's a safe route okay this sounds really good we have a whole team of people here going to keep me safe and uh, i'll just get myself uh, harnessed in and set up here so just tell me about the gear that we're putting on me to make sure i'm safe basically you're in turnout full turnout gear for protection you're putting on your scba as we speak now and that'll uh, allow you to breathe within a smoke-filled environment and it also uh, acts as a protector to your face uh, if there was heat in in this situation your tank will supply you with 20 to 30 minutes of uh, clean air uh, as long as you uh, try and maintain your breathing on a regular basis. Okay. I'm looking good? Oh yeah, you look, look, you look like you're ready to go. How long do you think it'll take to get through the search house? Well, I'm always not going to take longer than a minute. We've tried to set it up that way for you, but uh, I think you'll be fine. So basically what's going to happen here, he's going to go down low under the smoke. It's easier to see down there. It's easier to breathe as you stay low. And that's why we advise all people in their own homes when they're doing an escape plan. If your room is starting and your house is starting to fill up with smoke, you stay low because you can breathe better and see better down there. And it's the same strategy for firefighters when they're doing a search and rescue. So he's going to start swinging to the right, basically, whether your arm or your axe that you have with you, you'll be scraping along to the right-hand side and talking to the team as you come into objects like a couch, good around the couch, letting your team know, I've, I've come to a couch, we're going to go around it and then back to the wall and keep searching until you find what it is you're looking for. It could be a pet, could be a family member who's been overcome by the smoke. And then once that happens, then you call out saying, I found somebody. And then you're making your way back the same way, except this way you're going to be feeling the, the outside wall to the left till you get back to the couch or the objects you've encountered. There we go. They found the, uh, they've rescued the uh, victim. Perfect. Great job. So how Holy was that? Oh man, <laughs> okay, so I got to try that minus yeah. the heat. It was so dark, you couldn't see anything. We had this flashlight and sort of lit up the smoke right in front of you, but you only see smoke. It was yeah. so important having your team behind you, keeping in communication, because when you can't see anything, you just want to panic. But you know that there's guys behind you, they got a hand on your foot, guiding you through. And that guy was heavy. It's, it's amazing how heavy they, they become, don't they? Wow. Holy smokes! This is uh, this was an unreal experience. Thanks for uh, letting me share that, just to get a, like a you tiny glimpse of kind of what you guys are up against. But it's it's well, it's great amazing. Job. Great job! We got the guy out. So <laughs> fantastic, Mark. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Wow, uh, very very memorable experience for Fire Prevention Week. If you want one more information about the things that are going on and get a little more uh, educated about how to be prevent fires in your own home, go to the VT website, breakfasttelevision.ca.